Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to build something modern and I know that we've been doing mostly contemporary builds but I want to do a big simple house for a family. I'm thinking of using the terrain tool again but something more mild than what we did last time. Last time we used a bunch of rocks and terrain manipulation and also the water tool but this time I want to keep it simpler but Let's see where this goes. Before we jump into the game, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is Wistofu. I will also leave it in the description. And all of my builds are uploaded to the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime. I will also leave it in the description if that's easier for you to just copy and paste. And that being said, let's just jump into the game. So we're in this big plot in Newcrest. And honestly, I build in Newcrest when I don't know which world I want this house to be on or when I haven't envisioned the place for a house that I'm thinking of. So I feel like Newcrest is a good blank slate for that. And the reason why I want to do some terrain manipulation is because I want the house to be very asymmetrical or make it seem like the house wasn't just built on a flat land because because if you look at it, all of the terrains except for water lots, they are all flat. I do think that architects in real life, they have some challenges that we don't have in the game because terrains aren't always flat. And I think those constraints actually help think outside of the box and come up with solutions to some problems. And that also sometimes is what creates more interesting designs, in my opinion. And so I think Playing with the terrain is also kind of making my job a little bit harder, if that makes sense, but also push me to do something that I would normally not do. But yeah, I think I want it to be very asymmetrical, like I said, but I want it to be asymmetrical, not just left, right, but also between levels. I want each level to be very distinct from each other and have different areas mean different functions. And I think that's very important in a family home, especially if it's going to be a big family home. So yeah, I think this bottom floor will be good for some bedrooms, but we'll get to the floor plan later on. I'm just gonna place a few boxes around and try to see what we can come up with. And then for this floor above, I already tried to do some different shapes. I wanna follow the main structure of the building that we had already in the bottom floor. But I think now would be a good time to maybe expand it a little bit to this bit of terrain manipulation we have going on. We can do something like this. And then finally for the top floor, since I want to try to balance things out, we have what seems like the main floor here. So let's call it the second floor. This is the first floor. The first floor is spending more towards the left. Second floor, about all of it. And then on the third floor, we could do something on the right to kind of balance it out. So let's try to follow this along. I think it would be cool to have maybe some kind of feature wall that kind of goes in around the house. And then we can maybe also integrate it inside of the house. We can give this illusion by adding some half walls on top. And then we fill it in with the platform. Something like this. But we can come back to it. Actually, I'm thinking that maybe this feature wall should be a little bit bigger. And maybe let's bring this in to make it a little bit more seamless. Okay, we have this. And then I'm thinking maybe we should have some sort of mid platform here just because I want to put some stairs. And this is a trick that it's I usually do. I just place a platform on top of one by one and then I can slide it to an in-between space and then I just place some stairs. So I think something like this with some stairs here. And I think I also want to add some stairs from this side. And this is looking a lot like the back of the house actually. So maybe we should flip it around. Okay, so I've rotated it and I'm kind of feeling like the entrance should be on the second floor. I smooth it out so it looks a little bit more realistic. And I don't want anything too crazy. We can probably add another platform here. So I have a bit more space for the entrance. Maybe it could go here. Maybe we should add another one of these features like we have here. But maybe a smaller one. Okay, let's do this. I think I want to add another sort of thing popping out of the wall. Maybe the platform behind it can go a little bit lower. And I'm thinking it would be cool if we could add some sort of detail. Maybe it could even go around 
this part here and this could help with shade probably and also cover from rain i definitely want to add something more on this side because it's very bland right now but that's not necessarily bad so as a modern home i'm thinking of big doors and big windows a lot of glass to let the light in and i love these from eco lifestyle okay let's plop some windows around the place i'm also using eco lifestyle windows because they're so modern and they're also cheap in the game i feel like this here would be a good spot to have a table outside and thinking of that maybe this could be the kitchen so already i'm thinking of some coverings for this part something like this actually also just placed some here let's do a little balcony here we can go for it for now some more windows i feel like the back of the house makes sense to have more windows I usually have more privacy Whereas the front of the house faces like the road and where people can't see to the inside of your house. Of course, in The Sims, it's not a big deal, but I often think about what they would be like in real life. I also added this little piece here at the front because I thought it gave structure to the, the building. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but we'll see in a little bit. I think it's already too many of these random shapes coming together, but let's keep it for now. So we could probably add something like... Okay, this is what I want. I think we can embellish it later and maybe actually shift the whole lot a little bit. So I'm gonna add these windows here because I'm thinking this is where the kitchen is gonna go. And these are from Snowy Escape. For balconies, I think it's good to have a mix and match of half walls and actual fencing. Actually, let's paint the outside. I want to do something more neutral, I think. And then for these parts that we have here sticking out, we could do maybe a gray. And I'm thinking it needs to be a darker shade because it looks better with more contrast. Actually, I think I'm going to do this off-white or this light gray. This wallpaper is also from Eco Lifestyle. I think I want to introduce some wood because it's very black and white right now. And I was thinking between this base game one and this other one from Growing Together. I like how rich the brown is, so I think we could try and keep that in. I think I like this style also from Snowy Escape. Okay, these should line up with the fence on the upper floor. Let's keep it simpler on this side as well. Something that I don't do often, but see being done in modern homes is having this concrete fence around that are basically just tall walls. And I think for this build it would make sense, but I wouldn't add it all around like so. I think I would do this and then I think I want to have the illusion of a fence here or some doors. And there are these room dividers from Dine Out that I think would look good here as some sort of, well, door. And what I mean is I want to place these as if they were part of the fence. And then for this one, we can leave it as if the gate was a little bit open, just so the Sims can route through it. Then on this side, we just keep it simple. We can pretend this is the garage entrance, but since we don't have cars, we don't need to worry about that. And we can put this cute little mailbox from Snowy Escape. I'm just adding more pillars here on this under part to, I suppose, make more sense. And then we can kind of cover up some of it with some foliage. Okay, so I want to try putting some of these columns in to see if it helps with framing the building. I'm actually going to make them black and I'm going to add more around. And I'm going to do this to the edges of the whole build. If you're ever in a situation like this where you kind of want the column to go up to the half wall, but the column is still too big if you want to place another one, what you can do is grab the one you have underneath and then you use the same key that you use to make items bigger and it basically increases the column and problem solved. Okay, I think I like this, but now I want to change the wall trim to black. This little section over here, I think it would be good to add maybe some plants just to have some greenery included in here. I think we could do some hedges around the place, especially outside. Okay, I think we can get away with this. And now we should include also some trees and maybe we get a stone also to go with the pathway. Maybe we should frame it also around the fence because sometimes these modern homes they have really manicured gardens so I think we can have spots dedicated for the landscaping. I actually wish to match the stone that we have on the world so I'm thinking of maybe using these smaller trees 
in the front of the house. And on the actual lot, we use some of these bigger ones. I think this spot here will be good to add a pool. This house looks like it would have a pool. So let's maybe do that. And this here is what I mean with manicured landscaping. So these spots here will probably be just some greenery. And I think it makes sense in a house like this. To go with this, I think I will do this really short fence, maybe in black, that came with get to work. And I like it because it gives, it gives some sense to where the pathway ends and the greenery begins. I also think we need a big tree here just because this wall doesn't have much going on. So I want to kind of cover it with a tree. To give this really taken care of look in the garden, I'm going to use these. I don't even know what they're called, but I'm just going to size them up and place a few around. Okay, I think this is kind of the look that I want. We still have this here. I don't really like this terrain here, so I'm gonna do a few changes. So basically, I just took the time to do the same thing that I did in the back with the floating platform, and now this is what we have. I think I like it much better than before. I think this also needs a tree here, and let's add another one of these here. I'm just gonna place some of these hedges as well. Okay, so for this part where the terrain manipulation also is happening, I just placed a bunch of greenery, and with the tool mod, I kinda made it sink into the ground so it looks like it's growing out of it. I'm also gonna add some of this wild grass just because it behaves really well on terrain manipulation and you can stack it to kind of hide the dirt. So just gonna place a few around like this. Also yeah I did include some rocks underneath just because I thought it wasn't making much sense but you know it's fine if that's also something that's easy to get rid of in case you don't really mind. But yeah, the outside is looking more lively now. But let's maybe figure out this floor plan. I think before we do anything else, we should figure out where the stairs are gonna go. Since we're here, I wanna add this basketball hoop just because it's gonna be a family home. So I feel like it's very, well, firstly, it's very American to have a basketball hoop in your entryway. But I feel like since we have the space, we should add it. And I think we can also add some cars for decoration. How about we do this one and let's add also this one. Okay, it took me a while, but I think I figured out a floor plan that works. So as I said, on the first floor, I want to have the bedrooms and we have one, two, three bedrooms. Each one has its own bathroom and then we have a fourth room. And since it's the only room that connects to the outside from the first level, I thought we should turn it into some kind of common space. So I'm thinking a library or office. Then on the second floor, we have kitchen and dining here. We have the entrance area, which I'm not sure what to do. Probably a sitting area. We have the living here. I think we can put maybe a reading nook. We have a room here, which I'm not sure what I want to do with yet. And then on the third floor, we have the main bedroom. We have a walk-in closet and a bathroom. And here we're going to have a smaller bedroom. So it's a new day and we're back into the build. I have done some changes off camera. First thing you may notice is the flooring outside is no longer the gray that it was. I changed for the wood and I instantly liked it better. So I decided to keep it. And then I just added a few things around and now we get to decorate the rest of the house. I've already completed the bathrooms as well, just because I have so many rooms in this house that I don't think I needed to show the bathrooms. And I also decided to turn this bedroom into a garage. So I just kind of made up this garage door with these slabs from Eco Lifestyle and also these windows. And I think it's going to be a fun room to decorate as well. I think we can start in the kitchen and I think I want to bring the stone inside. And I'm thinking I want to use again these counters because they just work so well on a modern house. I also think we should have an island here. I think we absolutely have space for a huge island like this. So I'm going to keep it for now. I want to add some stools. Let's do these black ones with the wood detail. I think they look good in here. And instead of cabinets, I think we should do an open shelf concept. Maybe we do just two and raise them up slightly. Let's add some appliances to this space. Let's hide the smoke alarm over on this wall. And let's add also a trash can. 
Let's do this one right here. And we should add some lights here as well. Let's do these ones from growing together. One thing I like to make sure is that the lights don't go too low so you can still see the view outside no matter if you're standing or sitting down. This of course is a tip that I think works best in real life because in The Sims it's fine. But still it's nice to incorporate that. And now I just think we need a lot of clutter in this place so let's get some decoration out. I want to add these plants to kind of make it seem like the kids maybe planted them for a school project or something. I think that's a cool touch. Okay, and I think that's the kitchen all done. I've added some clutter around. And maybe we can even add a painting here. I'm thinking this one. For the dining area, I automatically want a big table where almost all of the sims can sit at at the same time. And we also need to include a toddler chair. Should we do these modern ones? I think they work, but maybe with a different table. Let's do the toddler chair in the yellow. And since we have the space, should we add maybe some sort of bar area here? I don't hate it, but I think I don't like this bottom part here. No, it wasn't working, so I think we, we are going to do our own custom bar area. I'm gonna add these high school strip lights underneath the shelves just because it gives a fancy vibe. Kind of looks more like a bar type of thing. Actually, let's try the black for now and I'm gonna get a rug and through the rug I'm gonna try to introduce some color and we should do a big light over the table like this one. Actually, I'm thinking it looks better in the black and white. I don't know why this house is making me go monochrome. Maybe we can spice it up in the bedrooms. That sounds wrong. I think we should add a little painting here. Okay, I think that's our bar area. I don't want to do much more than that. And I think we just need some plants here. And I think I want to add another one to the table. We still have some space here and I think we could add some pet stuff since this is a big house, it's a family home. I think it would be good to have a dog since we have the space for that. I'm gonna add the bed here and I'm gonna put the bowls over on this wall. We can have a water and an eating bowl. Actually, let's do a feeder and we still have the two bowls here. And since we added that, I'm just gonna include some dog treats over here or some pet treats. And let's do this little mat for the bowls. Okay, I think that looks cute. I also think we can use this wall with, with that parenthood thing that we have for families and kids. This is what I mean. We can do that here. And I'm thinking mainly of the gameplay for this space and for this family. And this is, after all, a family home, so let's add some paintings here so we have some more decoration. And for the millionth time, I'm gonna change this rug. There is no other that I like here, so don't come for me. I like this rug and I'm gonna use it until the day I die. Let's do it in this swatch so we still have some different texture here. And I honestly don't want to clutter this space more because there are going to be a lot of sims routing this spaces. So I'm going to leave this open, especially because we have a door to the outside. And I'm actually going to add probably a barbecue area here. Let's do something like this. We have these like napkins and ketchup, mustard. We should probably get a sink out here as well. Let's get the matching chairs here. Let's get the toddler high chair again. So everyone's included in family time. So for the living room, I think I want to do a sectional. We can do something like that. And I want to add a fireplace as well. Let's do this modern one for now. How about these two from Dream Home Decorator? They look good here. I have some lamps out now. I think I want to add a little side table here. Something simple like this. Let's add this big painting here for some color. We could actually use this TV. I think this came with city living. We are definitely not budgeting for this build. Let's actually move this light so it doesn't obstruct the painting. And actually we should add some pillows to this couch because it's looking very empty. Okay, it looks slightly more comfy. So we have this room in the first floor, which I don't think I want to turn into another bedroom. And I had the idea of turning it into like a home cinema. So I think we can go for that. And I think it would be really fun for the kids. Let's use these blackout curtains. These are from Dine Out. And let's add this TV. Since we already have this projector over here, and actually we could do carpet in here. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I think it would be better in a home cinema. We also have our little bathroom and we can even try to get a platform in here just, just so the chairs in the back can be a little bit higher. 
I could try these chairs, but I think I'm gonna add another level here in this platform. I'm gonna do only these down lights. Makes more sense in a home cinema. Okay, so I changed the layout a little bit and I made the lights a little bit smaller. I think we should also add a mini fridge here so they can grab some sodas while they watch the movie. And I think it's mandatory to have the popcorn machine here. And I want to keep it a little bit more realistic, so I'm not going to do much more. I think I'm just going to put some movie posters on this wall and call it a day. Let's do these ones. I'm actually going to add this dog bed here just so our furry friends can be included during movie time. For the entrance area, I think we could have a round table just because I see that being done in modern homes or not necessarily modern, but big homes have a lot of space. Besides that, we need a big mirror by the entrance. I like this one, but I think I'm gonna rotate it. I think I like that much better. And I'm thinking we need some sort of feature wall here or just something that isn't white. So I brought the wood from the outside in. Let's add some more decor maybe around. I think we need a round road to go with it. Let's do this one for now. And I wanna add some flowers on top and then some clutter. Let's do these. Now I wanna do some clutter. Let's do some sunglasses. And we can put a few keys and phones. And let's add some letters maybe. Okay, I think that's enough. So we have this big open space here by the entrance and we definitely need to add a big pendant light. We could do these ones from Moschino. They're kind of modern. Yeah, I think they can work here. And for this spot, we can do maybe a formal just sitting area. So I'm thinking maybe a couch like this and then two chairs on the opposite side. So we have a kind of conversation area. Okay, since I'm trying to use stuff that I normally don't, like this rug, this coffee table, let's go for that. I actually can't with this rug. It's yet another day and we're back here into this build. The reason why it's taking longer than usual, it's because Firstly, this is a bigger build than the previous ones. And besides that, I've been a little bit sick, as you can probably tell by my voice, but I'm feeling much better now. And I just want to build and play The Sims. And to be honest, Playing The Sims has always been really good for me when I'm sick. I mean, I play regardless, but it always brings comfort when I'm sick. So there's nothing else I would rather be doing right now. And we kind of have this space here that I've created to kind of go with the living room, but there's this separation. And I feel like we could do something dedicated for the kids here. I feel like we should have some sort of bookcase here. And maybe we could use this one. We definitely need a toy box. Maybe we can put it here. Let's add some of these little activity tables. I'm also going to add this little science table just because I feel like it's nice to have a lot of things for the kids to do. I've just placed a bunch of drawings on this wall just to kind of ground the space as the kids dedicated space. And I got these from the gallery. This is the ID where I got it from and I will also leave it in the description so you can also grab it. So I just searched for drawing and I filtered by rooms and most popular and this is what I got. I'm gonna place some toys around to make it look more lived in. I kind of like when kids toys and clutter kind of infiltrates the aesthetic of the place. I think it gives a very homey feel. And we can also put some in the living room. Let's add the teddy bear. I'm placing these train sets underneath to kind of tuck them away, but still, I think it's a fun spot for, for it to go. And I feel we should finalize this with a rug. We can do this one slightly tilted. Okay, I think we can move on to the bedrooms now. I think I want to make this a teenage bedroom and I'm thinking of a darker style for this bedroom. Maybe we can even do a custom unit with these items from Dream Home Decorator. I'm just placing a few around to see how I like the look of it. Sort of like this and then we can tuck in the bed here. Let's do this double bed. Now we can add some clothes on these. Over on this wall, I think it would be good to have Maybe this sim is very into gaming, so let's add one in. Let's do the matching one. And I'm gonna do this shelf from Eco Lifestyle. I think it pairs well with the colors and all of the boxy shapes we have on the bed custom thingy. Let's do a chair and now a computer. Let's do this one from High School Years. I wanna do a mirror, maybe let's do 
this one. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. Let's add some curtains as well. For rugs, I wanna do a black one, I think. Now we just need to clutter up all of these shelves. Let's add also this dog statue, since they do have a dog. We can forget these headphones. And maybe this sim is also into sports. So we can add some new sneakers here, some gym equipment. I think I wanna add a tall light here. Let's do that. I feel like this would be dangerous, so I'm gonna put it maybe on the desk. A cool trick is when you wanna be more precise on these desks, instead of moving it around and then placing the object, you can just take it and then you place it as if you were placing on the floor underneath it and you have the freedom to place it wherever you want. This doesn't work with all of them, but the ones that have a gap underneath, you can definitely do that. Now let's do a little side lamp. Also just added some of these strip lights underneath these cabinets so we have a little bit more light. Also change the wall color here just to make it more gloomy. I feel like it's the vibe of this bedroom and I've placed some more clutter around and I think that's it for this bedroom. Maybe we can do some yellow in this bedroom. Actually this here is a perfect spot for a wardrobe. Let's add one in here. Maybe we can do something similar to what we did in the first bedroom, but maybe we can do something like this with some sort of structure. Let's get some clothes here. Okay, so we have this built-in unit. Maybe we can get the bed in here as well. Maybe if we did something like this. Let's put the mirror in. I like this one with the stickers. We can use this as a little side table as well. This bookcase is so cute and I never use it. I also love adding plushies to the bedrooms. I actually like this rug. I think the yellow and the blue complement each other so I think this sim is very imaginative and they like reading stories and kind of playing off of them. Let's add a few toys around just to make it seem like they were doing that and you can also add another pillow for maybe a parent for story time. Okay, I just placed some more decoration around, some more toys, this little octopus on the bed. And I think this is also done. I think we have some personality and we can move on to the other bedrooms. So now we're going to this main bedroom. This is very different from what I usually do, but I think I've done quite a few different things in this build, especially with these built-in structures in the bedrooms. And since I don't like the pillows that are on this watch, I'm just gonna put a few of these to kind of cover them and hopefully this still functions. Let's get a big rug out here. I think I'm gonna use my trustworthy one. Maybe we should use these as or instead of bedside lamps. We have so much visual space on this wall that, and I don't want to clutter it, it up too much. And I think the white is okay. This could look good here. I'm gonna use the shelf trick to clutter up this surface. Let's add a bassinet in the parents' bedroom or in the main bedroom. And we also have this cool thing that you put on above the bassinets. This one is modern, so I feel like it's it fits the vibe. I feel like a rocking chair would be good here. This one fits better. Maybe this was passed down from maybe the grandparents. I'm actually gonna replace for this one. Let's get a little side table to go with this thing that we have here. I'm thinking of this really low one in a dark wood swatch, like so. I'm also gonna put the changing table right next to it because I think for gameplay that just makes it easier. And then maybe some of these decorations. These ones are base game and I believe they came with the baby update. I'm happy with this and I don't want to put more clutter in. I want it to be very free for the parents and the toddler to move around. And now we have the bathroom that's furnished and we have a walk-in closet. So let's take care of that. So I'm gonna use these ones from Dream Home Decorator. We've already used so much of it that I feel like this whole custom built thing makes sense also in the walk-in. I think I want to paint it also full dark. This spot here is kind of awkward so I think I'm gonna close this section off like this and over here we can have maybe a makeup slash accessory situation. Let's put some shoes in here and let's get some of these clothes out. 
we need another full length mirror over here and maybe we can use this one maybe like this i think we just need some sort of ottoman maybe do this one the green or actually i like this color better let's actually get a rug in here too i'm missing some green in this build so let's use a green rug Let's add a bright light in here. Maybe this one from Get Together. I'm placing some debug objects from the new stuff pack. And then also some rings. And I actually want to sneak some snacks in here because I thought it would be funny if the parents kind of had their own snacks to hide from the kids. Because I feel like I would do that if I were a parent. You know, of course, for the sake of the children's health not because i want to eat all of the snacks this is the last bedroom that we have and it's going to be a toddler's bedroom so let's put the curtains in right away we have this green swatch which is perfect i'm gonna use this toddler bed and i want to include this chair again it's just so cute we can put the toy box over here and then we can put some side tables these ones go well with this color of the bed i mean how about we do a matching green rug this room is feeling kind of dark so let's get some lighting in and let's do this wall lamp and what do we think of turning the ceiling into this yeah let's do this one let's add this giant teddy bear i believe toddlers can interact with it let's put some toys on this table also some on the ground so they can play with it i think we can squeeze this mirror in here and we also have a standing light or a standing lamp that has the shape of a cat. This one. And I think it would look good here. It's quite simple, but it has a few toys. Okay, and I think that's it for our toddler bedroom. I included it on the same level as the parents' bedroom just because they need more attention and it's just easier to attend to them. And now we only have one room left in the whole build, which is this library slash office area. So for this room i want to make it cozy so i'm gonna do full wood for now since we have this modular theme throughout the bedrooms maybe we should get the book nook bookcases uh, just because we have more freedom with them when it comes to just making the shape that we want i think it would be cool to have here in the middle and because i don't want this just to be like a parent's office i want this also to be used by the kids to do their homework and their school projects i think it would be a really cool spot where they could do that so i'm thinking of adding a big table here maybe something like this we can try to put two in here for now we can get some of the science projects in the ones that come with parenthood i like these let's put some chairs in maybe we should do some colored chairs like this to bring in some more color in the room okay i think i like this now over on this wall i think is where we could put the computers i'm also gonna add some curtains in here in terms of rug there's a lot of space here and we have this one from i think the toddler stuff pack and it has quite a few layered and it has some good swatches i think we could use maybe like this it brings in even more color makes it a fun space for the kids so actually i've just made this a little bit smaller i think i'm gonna do something different and i'm gonna do a again a custom one yeah i think this looks much better than before now i think we have room to put an easel in can't forget about that skill building one more plant because it doesn't hurt us and i just think we're missing a comfy chair to sit and read and also some decoration let's do the book nook one i'm gonna do this lamp from eco lifestyle okay now let's get some decor Let's add a drawing tablet. Maybe they have an artist in the family. Let's pretend this is a picture of the family. Some books and plants over here. Now let's add some postcards to this. Maybe this is all of the places that the family has traveled to. And they kind of keep it here as a reminder. Okay, I think that's enough. I think I'm just gonna add a few more books around. Okay, and I think that's it for our library room. I'm gonna finish up some details now and we'll be back for the final tour. Here we are in the final build and this is what it ended up looking like. It's very modern and it's definitely for a big and wealthy family. This is the side of it. And now let's check the other side. 
And here is the back of the house. A lot of family spaces, a lot of activities to do outside. And yeah, a lot of green patches as well. I'm happy with how we incorporated the landscaping with the architecture. But yeah, let's take a tour of the inside. So first we walk in through the gate and we go up the stairs and we actually enter the house on the second floor. Once we go in, we have this little entrance area and we already have this double height seating area. And this is just for guests to sit down when they come and just a really center part of the home, I would say. And I think we can start here on the left. We have already a room and when we go in, we can see that it is the movie room. So it's very simple. It has a bunch of chairs. I think it would be perfect for the kids to bring home some school friends and watch a movie. And also, of course, for movie night with the family, we also have the pet bed. So they can be included. And we have a simple bathroom that connects to this movie room. And we have a mini bar over here, a popcorn machine. So you don't have to get out of the home cinema to eat or go to the bathroom. Once we're out again and we go here to this area, we have a little playroom for the kids. We have some activities, a bunch of toys, some books as well. And this is just a space that the kids have put their staple on. As you can see, we have a bunch of drawings. We have this cool lamp. We have a science table, a bunch of toys. And right across we have the family living room. It's simpler and it has a lot of dark colors just as the rest of the home. We have a big TV, fireplace and also this record player which I think would be good for the whole family. We have a little balcony here. And then if we go to the entrance and to the right, we have right here by the entrance, a small half bathroom and laundry room. I thought it was good to combine the two of them. I like having a bathroom by the entrance. Once we're out and to the right again, we go to the dining area. So we have our toddler chair and we have our custom built bar. You have a bunch of drinks there. Over to the left, we have the kitchen, which is spacious and it has a bunch of hints that this is a family home. You have some things made by kids and maybe they bring some homework to the bench. I think it's such a cool detail. We have some dog treats as well. And speaking of, we have here the dog station with a bed and just a few more details that make this or that turn this into a family home. And through this arch, we have a eating area outside, which we can check right now. We also have the barbecue there, some s'mores. And down these steps, we have these lounges, but we can check the rest of the outside later. And then going back to this main area, we can go check the upstairs first. So we go up these stairs and we have here a little teddy bear and this tent. Since we have a toddler on this, we have a cool view of the bottom floor. And on this first door, we have our little toddler bedroom. It has some natural colors, a lot of greens and woods. And we have this cool ceiling paint with clouds. And we also have the cloud lamp. But yeah, just overall, girl, Siri just activated i don't know why but yeah quite simple some cool details and i th and i think it looks cozy as well back into the hall we go all the way down and we get to the main bedroom so it also has a lot of those brown tones and it's very modern as well and here right by the entrance we have this little baby kind of area so you can nurse your baby you have a rocking chair you have the changing table there's also this cool balcony that sees to the back of the house and through this double door we have the ensuite bathroom which i really like actually i love that it has the bathtub in the middle of the room I have the toddler potty there this double door again we have the walk-in closet so a bunch of items clothes this would honestly be a dream but yeah a lot of those dark woods again i wanted it to be very cozy and kind of cavern like if it makes sense but yeah let's go back again going back to the second floor then we have 
a few more stairs that go into the first floor of the house, which has a bunch of doors. We can start here. We have this little reading area and also a bed for the pet so you can read while, while your pets snuggle next to you. I think that's really cool. But yeah, through this first door we have the first teenager bedroom. It's very moody as well, but it has a lot of personality. We, we made this custom structure around the bed and just a very edgy teenager vibe here. And through this door we have a bathroom, which every bedroom except for the toddler bedroom has a bathroom so that's I think that's really cool as well it's very simple and also really dark back again into the hallway we go to the right we have another bedroom so this one is very yellow has some brighter colors I had in mind a younger child for this bedroom so a bunch of toys very messy but again I think it makes sense and we have this bathroom with some decals that make it look cutesy and we also have a duck there. And yeah, really warm bedroom back out into the hall again. If we go here, actually we have a garage, which I didn't show building, but I thought it would be cool to add something different, not just bedrooms. I think it was cool to add some skill building items that we don't have in the rest of the home, like this woodworking table. We have a piano, some knitting stuff here and another easel. So yeah, and a bunch of stuff. I think it was the right call not to have just a bunch of bedrooms and make the house a little bit more realistic. Back again we have the last bedroom of them all, which is this very pink bedroom. We have some dark woods as well, and that's something I never imagined I would pair, but I, I'm not mad at it, the pink with the dark brown. It has a lot of personality as well, very kid, preteen vibes, high school kind of era. And then over here we have their bathroom, which is quite simple, has a shower. Lastly, we have this double door, which leads into the library slash office area. So we have a bunch of bookcases here. We have science project. I imagine this is where the kids do their homework, if not in the kitchen when the parents are cooking. And we also have this little computer area here. So. You can use it for whatever. We have a sitting area here. And since we're here, we can also check the backyard. So we have a swing here. We have a toddler slide over here. And back this way, we have the pool, which is more like of a lap pool, but it's partially covered. So if you don't want to swim in the sun, you're safe there. And over here, right at the end, we have a little toddler pool because, you know, we thought about toddlers a lot in this build. And we also have a floaty. And that's it for the back area as well. And over here we have, we have this I don't know how you say it in English, but you know, the game where you hop. Yeah. Oh, and if you were wondering, the trash cans are here by the entrance. We also have some cars for decoration. We have the basketball hoop there. And I think it would be cool to kind of have this garage as a project for whoever downloads this house, you know, to kind of maybe turn it into another bedroom. I thought of maybe having a grandparent's bedroom here or just turning it into whatever you want. I think it would be a cool project to change it over time. And the same thing with this movie room. Of course, this is a splurge, right? So if you wanted to have another bedroom or a different room, I would have turned this one into something else. But yeah, I think this is it for this modern house for a big family. I'm really happy with how it came out, actually. I think it's a challenge when you have a family this size in mind to build a house around and have show their personalities through the bedrooms. But hopefully I was able to do that. And if you want to have a peek, this is the layout. This is the first floor which if you look, it's spending more to the right. This is the second floor, which is which spans across the whole thing. And then this is the third floor, which is more spending to the left. But yeah, this is it for this build. Let me know what you think of it. Just like that, we're at the end of the video and I wanna thank you so much for watching, for making it all the way to the end. And apologies for taking so long for this video. As always, it will be on the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and also let me know your suggestions if you have any. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.